The cattle in Queensland are now under attack from drones in a robot roundup. With cattle properties 1.5 million hectares in size, which can take three months to muster, or herd to non-mustering folk, graziers are turning to technology to locate and move their herds in outback Queensland. They're a new system that we're using for cattle handling and uh, for teaching people as well. Um, we, we believe that this new technology is going to bring more efficiency possibly. As the technology gets better, we'll, we, we'll think we'll be able to send the drones out to go and get cattle. Helicopters have long been used in beef production in Queensland because of the vast areas that need to be covered, but now the much cheaper option of a remote pilot aircraft is taking off with farmers. The way we handle cattle has been passed down through generations. So my children, they're starting to fly these things now, my children, because you know what kids are like with their fingers, they're amazing. But what the most important thing we're passing on is how to handle cattle properly. The cattle themselves seem a little perplexed being wrangled by this new flying foe and need to be trained themselves. Because they're prey animals, that type of thing, because they're prey animals, their natural instinct is to run away. So when you first introduce them to this drone, you have to do it in a spot where they can't really get away because their natural instinct is to run away. Drones have even been fitted with thermal cameras to locate stock in the remote far reaches of properties, so farmers can direct helicopters and stockmen to an exact location, taking the guesswork out of mustering. I think not only for mustering and cattle handling and training, training the cattle, I, I think what we're going to develop is they can set GPS waypoints on them for your tanks, troughs, and set a GPS th um, plan and it'll go out and check those things for you and checking fences and things like that. So I think that as the technology goes on, we'll be able to use them uh, for those types of things to save driving around and things like that. While they haven't superseded the trusty working dog or steed yet, when these workhorses get tired, all their owners need to do is replace the batteries. One of the first countries to regulate the commercial operation of drones in the world, mustering pilots must have an operator certificate and meet a number of conditions set out by the Civil Aviation Safety Authority.